What's up mga dudes? This is RJ and welcome to another One Piece trading card game content. And for this video, I'm gonna be showing you the other blue leader that I'm practicing with, the Blue Do Flamingo. Let's go! So as you see here, this is my deck list for the Flamingo in OP04. It's just the same core cards, which is the Seven Warlords of the Sea. Uh, we have Boa Hancock, Gekko Moria 6K, the other Gekko Moria ST that brings back uh, other warlords and trailer bark pirates uh, i also have the cool mihawk and i have a couple of jinbei so i know in global uh, or the english version jinbei is quite expensive and very hard to get so you can just replace it with two alvidas uh, making him just two k counters right i also added uh kaya just in case we didn't hit our doflamingo uh, and uh perona some sort of fixers basically of our top decks so i just use kaya for added chance of getting this too because again this is our enablers this is what will basically run the deck and i also added some uh finisher here of course gum gum red rock arguably the best blue cards in the set and of course the blue kaido we want more firepower in the late game uh the Flamingo is very aggressive during the early days, uh, but the meta shifted into a more slow pace. So we want to go in the late game more prepared. So that's why I added Kaido. Of course, we also st we still have uh, the 9 cost Mihawk and the 7 cost the Flamingo. 7 cost the Flamingo, I just added him for the curve uh, because we wanted to go first and given that there's a lot of uh green purple do flamingo that uses seven cost luffy uh ace also as uh, is uh reachable by uh do flamingo so i just added him for those extra protection so now we will be taking this bad boy into a spin here in the simulator let's go uh easter do we see four let's just create our own uh game Waiting game. So I'm actually practicing Do Flamingo again. Uh, if you're following me on Twitter, you know that I've been using Ace for the past few days. But Ace versus Katakuri is really, really, or any yellow with Big Mom is really impossible to win. So given that a lot of uh, Asian players are using. Uh, Ace, uh, or sorry, Katakuri or other Big Mom is also uh, rising in popularity. I really changed my deck. So, alright. So, as a Doflamingo, you always want to go first because of the curve. Uh, this is a good one. There's no uh, Warlords of the Sea. The only thing that we wanted is bounce spells or bounce, bounce events, but we have three uh, fixers. So let's keep this one. Right. So, oh wow. So I can actually draw Perona attack with Boa Hancock. Then use another, uh, uh, use the Flamingo next turn so that we can bottom actually Kaido and Dracul Mihawk. So let's put it on top. Uh... I don't need Mihawk because I already have one, but I want one Kaido actually. So let's just put it here. Draw. There you go. So I'll be drawing Perona. If I attack for 7k and use the ability, I'll be putting up uh, Bow Hancock here. Alright, so we already know what's uh, in our deck. Attack. Use our card action play rested now we will be using perona to bottom the mihawk and kaido so that oh wow <laughs> we have triggered uh red rock that's very unfortunate that's very unfortunate so what we can do is play perona again uh play the two peronas so he will kill okay that's very unfortunate. Mm, we can play Peron again. Alright. Okay, we want this Moria. So what we can do is we wanted we want to draw this law. Actually we want to draw this mm, 
Kaido again. We want to draw this Kaido. Place on top. We want to draw this Kaido. Uh, and then attack, draw, and attack. So, one, two, three. Oh, wait. I think I misplaced. Because I should be attacking here. I should be attacking here. So I'll be drawing Kaido next. Then the one after Kaido is Law. I think I misplaced the Mihawk. I think I misplaced the Mihawk. But I think that's, that's kind of okay. Alright, so he will attack for 7k here. Oh, he discarded one. Alright. Then, of course, we want to play Do Flamingo next. Yeah, we can actually play Do Flamingo. No, actually, I want to just attack first. Maybe he's thinking of attacking Moria. Like for 6k attack Moria. Okay. Oh, okay. He went, he went for that one. So he'll attack me for 5k. Um, I think we have to take this one. Uh, we're kind of low with counters, so we're we want to we want to get this one. Oh, he didn't attack. Okay, he didn't attack. Okay, we're seven. Should I can play the flamingo here? I'm down to four dawn, seven k, seven k. Use the ability. All right, we can play Moria just to get back uh, Perona. Wow, another Perona. Alright. So, what we want here is to play draw right at the top. So, uh, so this will be the two. Gonna attack now. So, the first card will be here. Draw. Draw play. So, draw. So, one, two, three, four, five. Three, four, five. All right. Gonna attack for. Uh, let's attack first for six k. Uh, for seven k. Uh, will he block with Sabo? I don't think he'll block with Sabo. So we will get Perona back because we will be playing Moria, and then we'll draw another Perona. So the next one. For our next turn, we'll play Perona and then try to look for bigger characters or bigger bounce spells such as uh, Gum Gum Red Rock. Attack for you, score there. Of course, I want that Perona back. And our turn here. All right, they're, they're definitely gonna try to kill one of these uh, Morias. Uh, yep. Mm, well, I don't want you to get that Moria. Uh, let's throw this one. So, 8 done. Actually, they can actually kill this too. But I think they want to get rid of the blocker first. Okay. They'll just have to minus four the cost of any of the Morias and then, uh, well, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Kill Perona. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. This is actually huge. Uh, he dropped a lot of cards. He dropped a lot of cards. So, uh, we'll just play Perona here. Let's attack with, uh, well, let's attack with uh, Jinbei. 
So we will be summoning Jinbei. Uh, top, gonna draw. So Jinbei, Law, Bawahan, uh, Bawahan Kak for draw, and then Mihawk. Actually, I'm thinking of putting this. No, no, no. Uh, let's put it on top. So. It will be the case. Actually, attack for. We can kill Sabo here. We can kill Sabo. Attack for 9k. Then attack for 8k. If he won't give up Sabo. There. Because if he tries to attack Jinbei, I'm gonna put Kairos on the bottom. So that's okay. Uh, let's attack for 8k. He'll take one. And our turn here. If he tries to attack uh, Jinbei, we're gonna bottom one of the Kairos. So that's actually okay. Uh, Moria. If he just attack for... Yeah, you can have Moria. Uh, we have to take this one. We really have to because we're, we're losing a lot of cards. Hmm... Then cause probably gonna kill someone. Let's just throw. Could be a ten cost Kusan. I'm not sure what uh, this build is because some Rebecca uses Kusan. So if that's the case, he will kill the Flamingo or Moria. He will definitely. Okay. Oh wow. Okay. Minus 4, one of these, he'll attack. And then minus 4, one of these. Because uh, he has a rush to attack characters. Um, okay, he used Rebecca. Oh, wow, Borsalino, okay. Now, we still don't have any... Well, actually, I can bounce this too. Uh, one, one Kairos... Uh, Let's use Borsalino and Kairos to the bottom. Uh, let's attack for 5k. Then let's attack for 5k, 5k, 5k. Then for next, wow, he already dropped Borsalino there. Now, oh, that tells me that you don't have any uh, 1k character, uh, counters or those 1k are very important. So... Do you have a red rock? Do you have a red rock? That's the question here. Because if you have a red rock, well, I can play another Kaido. And not sure. Oh, wow. If you attack that and let it kill, goodbye. Goes to the bottom. Actually, he can... No. He cannot kill my Kaido. He cannot kill my Kaido. Minus four... If he drops a 10 Koskosan, gonna be just minus 6, uh, minus 9, still 1, one uh, Kos. Let's see what we're gonna do. Minus 4. Uh, just gonna take this one. Okay, he minus, alright, he wants to kill one. Now we're just gonna play Law as our blocker or Bowhan Kak will we should kill this Kusan. It's a must that we have to kill this Kusan. Uh actually I can just bounce it. Uh, actually try to kill it. Uh, can attack Oh wow, Red Rock. Okay. So now we know he has Red Rock. Alright. So, what we can do is bounce this too. And then 5k, 5k. Uh, would you be able to draw the cards? Then 5k. Just make him discard more cards. Hopefully, he doesn't have any more red rocks. Oh, he discarded Sabo now. Wow. Well, 
I think you have a red rock because if he doesn't have a uh, if he doesn't have a red rock, he won't be discarding uh, Sabu because you want to have a defender here. Now I think you have a red rock. If you have a red rock, we can play Perona, and then one bow Hancock. Okay, I think I don't think he has an uh, answer for that uh, Kaido. So yeah. That's the power of uh, the Blue Dove Flamingo now in OP04. I know you haven't seen the Red Rock play, uh, but uh, you already saw what the Kaido can do. So you, it's really just about controlling the board and attacking them with 7k power uh, attackers and making them discard a lot of cards. So uh, this is RJ playing One Piece trading card game. Peace out.